Come visit Cell World. Disclaimer, tickets only sold at the ticket booth outside the front left side of cell wall. You must pass through the cell membrane where security will do a bag check and car check. Please stay seated at all times and make sure all bags you are bringing into the park are in your trunk. Strollers and portable scooters and wheelchairs are only welcome in certain parts of the park. Osmosis Park is just one example where you aren't allowed to bring any in. For more information, please visit cell.world slash osmosis.park.com. Please park an area as directed. You may be able to get a closer parking spot if you have children under 12 or a senior over 65. Fun is on the way. Head straight to the ticket booth outside of the cell wall. Remember to download the Cell World app so you may relocate your car once you leave the park. You have three options as far as transportation goes. Active Transport is a subway system near the entrance left of the ticket booth. It stops at each park and is scheduled to move to the next every four hours, so this is good for longer trips, which means you might want to get to the cell membrane at our opening 7 a.m. so you may leave by 7.30 a.m. The diffusion process is more near the gate, and a tour guide will take you and your family on a golf cart ride to the top of the park at Cloroplast Games and Carnival in the mountainside. The tour guide will travel with you at your own pace at all times. He will use the golf cart to move parts. The osmosis process is a solution for families who don't know what they would like to do at the park or aren't going to plan their trip, which is absolutely fine. The trail you will walk to move parts is directly vertical on both sides of the parking lot and requires passes, as everything else does. Remember to pick a pass based on your schedule. You carry out or prokaryo is your fo first question you may ask yourself. So what's the difference, huh? The Eukaryo most often uses active transport and is scheduled for all parks, which means you even get free food court. Prokaryo most often uses osmosis, which allows you to walk the trail to move parts without a schedule. The nucleus park is excluded from this task as well as fr um, free food from the mitochondria. You might find that pets are allowed but on the trail, but not in the park. There is a puppy park you can take your dog while you are in the park. It is right across from the mitochondria. As I was saying, the mitochondria is right across from the little puppy play place. And security will take care of your dog. Um, it has a puppy park. Uh, water, food, a little park playpen for them as well. Multicellular versus unicellular. The multicellular pass allows you to go to as many parts of your choice, including free food. This pass matches with eukaryo and is only possible with the eukaryo plan. The unicellular pass is for one park of your choice for two hours, which matters or matches with the prokaryote plan, except you aren't exempt from choosing Nucleus Park as your park of choice. Autotroph or heterotroph pass, which is best for you? Autotroph pass and heterotroph pass both match with the eukaryo plan and you cannot get these passes with the prokaryo plan. Within the autotroph pass, pass is the no food include type of deal, but instead everyone gets a free item from the gift shop. This is for families who bring their own food. The heterotroph pass is the free access to any meal of your choice, any time of the day, any location, at the mitochondrion food court. Two of three passes is required to enter the park, as well as a travel plan. Prokaryo and eukaryo is required, and as well as multicellular and 
the unicellular. You have to choose either of those. If not, not security, security or not with not anyway. First stop, if you take diffusion or active transport, you will end up at the water park known as Cytoplasm Park. You will go into a glass room, which the number will be assigned before you reach this point. This is where your stuff that is not needed in the park will go, so you can come back anytime. You will be given a code to unlock this door. This door will be kept locked at all times to ensure the safety of Nucleus Park is in the middle of Cytoplasm Park and Chloroplast Park. Prokaryote passes aren't allowed unless they have a status of unicellular. The mitochondrium food court is next on your right to the mitochondria and glucose plus breads. I will go over entrance by transport here next. If you have taken the osmosis route, you will end up at the Chloroplast Games and Carnival where you may park per tourist directed. In a numbered parking spot, you may leave items in the vehicle. Just make sure you close the sun curtains and, and roof to ensure the safety of your items. The food court for the water park is located in the left corner in the blue and white canopy. It is pretty noticeable. As for cl the chloroplast park, it is located in front and next to the circus. It is a spotted yellow and white canopy. For anyone who doesn't have a meal plan, it will cost a little bit of cash. We do not take card, um, so this is just the menu. Active transporters will enter through the bright orange lighting doors. People entering through the diffusion process will park in directed parking spot by tour guide as usual. If you are traveling by the osmosis route, please be prepared to show pass at roller coaster. It is time to leave the park. These are your instructions on what to do. If you, you are using the diffusion process, your tour guide will tell you where and what route to use to exit. For people who are using osmosis, please use the trail to go back to the entrance. For people who are using the subway, please use that. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this little short snippet of what a day at Cell World would be like.